everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. Today, we are looking at a bunch of pouches because I wanted to show some of my new pouches. I think you've kind of seen this on stream. This is a new to me purchase, actually. I just bought this and then I wanted to show you my pencil case. So this is kind of like a rough look at what I carry in reality. So this is what I carry from day to day to work and to kind of like journaling at a cafe. Um, and then this is what lives on my desk. And if I really want to be ambitious, I'll bring both of these plus this. This is my everyday pencil case. So a lot of this is very contingent on what um, I'm doing for the day. But I thought I would show like the different setups that I have for it and what's currently in them. So I think we'll start off with that. But first of all, I'll tell you the, the different pouches and like the brand and who makes them. So the first one. This is the newest one to me. I just purchased this. This is the um, Bomb Kuchin X, the Superior Labor Engineer Pouch with pockets. So the Superior Labor makes engineer pouches a lot, but they also have um, a version that has pockets, which really appealed to me because I actually plan on getting that over the Delphonics, which I ended up purchasing first. But I actually um, ended up getting this um, later on because this was more appealing at the time. I kind of flip flop over which one I like better, but I love them both equally. But this is a co collaboration with Bomb Kuchin, which is um, a shop based in California. They work closely with the Superior Labor a lot, and I feel like they were the brand that really put me on Superior Labor. Um, so this has some distinct, um, I guess, Bomb Kuchin touches. So this has designed by people, made for people. The journey is the destination. Um, the Superior Labor and Bomb Kuchin in collaboration. I think I read that in the wrong title, uh, not wrong title, wrong order. Um, so there's um, definitely like a Bomb Kuchin touch. This is the Sakura Mochi colorway of the Engineer pouch with pockets. I think they release another color um, that is, ooh, I forget, but they released another color alongside with this, but this is currently sold out. This is actually a nice like khaki olive color with the faintest um, pink paint. So this is usually finished with paint. The one that I actually had on my wish list that I was going to purchase over this was actually the engineer pouch with a leather bottom, which is about this color. It's not natural leather. It was like a nice tan color, but this is what um, natural looks like. Natural leather looks like once it's patinaed over time. But this is beautiful. There's a little brass charm here that says Superior Labor X um, Bomb Kuchin. Has the typical Superior Labor kind of um, fabric tag. Um, there's a customized um, rivet, and you can see here this is where the stitch lines are for the pocket. This over here is the paint. You can kind of hear the scratchiness of it. It's really nice. It's supposed to protect the bottom and all the different corners of your pouch. And then we'll just go inside. So this is a little bit pricier. Anything from the Superior Labor is pricey, and the quality is always amazing from the Superior Labor. I feel like it's like on the luxury side of like stationary accessories and like everyday accessories because they make beautiful stuff but it is a little bit more expensive because i believe the canvas that they use um for the superior labor pouches and the engineer bags are hand woven in their actual studio so very precious i will i'm sure i will keep this for years to come and it'll age nicely this also has like a nice kind of raspberry i guess I, sakura would be the right color um uh, well, Sakura or Cherry Blossom is lighter, so I guess that's that color. But this really reminds me of like a cherry color. Um, it's like a cool toned red, very berry-esque. And then this is what I carry from day to day. This is kind of like a makeshift tech pouch slash stationary pouch. So it usually carries some stationary items, some like emergency items like band-aids and hand sanitizer and some medicine. So this is what I keep in my bag because I am indecisive with my bags and I move from different bags all the time. So I like to keep everything in like a pouch so I can just like grab it and go and put it in the other bag. So we'll start off with the biggest item, the most important item. This is just my uh, regular size traveler's notebook. This is my OG one. It's black. It's the one that has the Midori stamping. This is the one that I would probably save in a fire. This is where it all started. Um, this is just an example. This is actually not my work planner. I still plan in a um, regular size traveler's notebook, but that's currently um, in my bag right now. But this is the rough size and how full it would usually look like. Um, yeah, it fits nicely in here. And this was kind of designed, I think, to fit one of these in here. So that's lovely and perfect. And then 
Next up, tissues. I've been saving this from 2017. This is like the last tissue pack that I purchased in Korea. It's kind of ridiculous how sentimental I am, but this just has one of my favorite characters. This is Ryan from Kakao Friends. Um, and actually, is it Kakao Friends? Kakao Talk. Kakao Friends, yeah. But the app is called Kakao Talk. It's a messaging app. I still have that, and I think if I finish this, I'll be really sad, but I'll probably just like jam in some tissues in there. But this is just evidence of how sentimental I am. Um, and then I have my everyday planner. This is a mini five. This is a mini five that I hacked in an LV um, vintage um, mini agenda. So you're supposed to put like an agenda insert here and there's a pen pencil that I took out because I don't really use very often. Um, this is kind of out of character for me because this is very luxe, but I just love how this is like real leather instead of like the regular canvas that they use. And it's a mini five size and I feel very proud that I hacked this because I don't think anyone, well, no, I got inspiration from some people on Instagram. I'll leave their, um, their Instagrams below. Um, but I feel like, I don't know, it's very unique. I'm not the only one that has this, but you know, there's like three other people, <laughs> but I think it's a fun hack. And if you're into DIYing, um, you should try it out. I think I have a tutorial on my Instagram, no, on YouTube actually. And then this actually doesn't hold as much as the Delphonics. That's, I guess we'll talk about that a little bit later. This is my kind of tech pouch that just has basic stuff. This just has power bank, different charging cords. So mini USB, um, USB to lightning. And I also have an, I think um, USB-C adapter here, um, the charging brick, the regular five volt for the iPhone, and then all of the newer iPhones don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack audio um, kind of input. So <laughs> I had to bring this just in case I need to listen to music using like standard headphones. And then this is usually, I don't know, I kind of, hum and haw about where to put this because this is actually a super like handy item this is actually a native union um charging cable so this has um usb to lightning because i use an iphone but this is really nice it's really aesthetic i actually purchased this when i bought my ace hotels uh, traveler's notebook from the ace hotels website this was on sale and then one of the necessities um hand sanitizer and then i have a little medicine pouch um this is actually just like a sony headphone case that came with like headphones from like five years ago maybe even longer and i just have like earplugs in here some like emote no gravel seasickness or motion sickness there's some tylenol yeah this is just like emergency I actually need to fill this up because usually i have tylenol in this one but i don't have any which maybe is a bad indication that i've been drinking <laughs> tylenol at work does that mean i've had more headaches maybe and then last two things this is my hanging together um hts system from the superior labor this is actually the wallet insert so i can't really show you like i can show you these things right here those are my cards and then there's a a, a space here for more cards and then you can put cash in here i actually really like this this wasn't my full-on wallet this was only like the wallet that i started using in the summer when i was using the hanging together system a lot as like a little bag side crossbody thing um but if you don't know what it the hang together system looks like i'll put a picture like up right now uh but yeah this is really handy um it's not my my favorite wallet as just like a wallet but i do like it when it's on the hanging together system i'm still deciding if i'm gonna move back to my regular wallet because i do like my regular wallet this was just kind of like a impromptu summer thing that i did but i really liked it and it's aging really nicely um, and then I have a Bagu. I'm a big Bagu stand. This is just a reusable bag um, that I take with me just in case like I buy something or shop some. Yeah, I buy something. Uh, I can just use my Bagu bag and it's re um, reusable. Um, so you don't need to get any plastic or paper bags. I admittedly am very good at bringing this around, but really bad at like remembering to use it. So this is just a reminder uh, to use your recycle recyclable bags job and that's what fits in here it actually doesn't fit as much but 
Um, I really like it because it is very aesthetically pleasing. I feel like if you are going to be using a stationary pouch, this is a good option if you don't like to bring too much or you're going to be bringing multiple pouches because I don't know. I thought this would hold a little bit more, but I do like that it has pockets. It gives it more, I guess, organizational possibilities unless uh, instead of just it being like one giant pouch. Um, I think a large part of why this is so chunky is because it is also fitting a really chunky traveler size, uh, regular size traveler's notebook. And I feel like if I really wanted to, I could probably make this work with more stuff if I didn't have a TN in there. But right now, this is already like a little bit of a struggle to close. Um, but I still really like it. It is physically smaller. It is, I think, the same length. No, this one feels... I don't know. I think this one just has um, more pocket, exterior pockets. That's why I can hold more. But in reality, I feel like their width and length are very similar. But this is... Oh, this is the bad boy. This is the Delphonics... Um, oh, wait. I, this is the Delphonics Engineer Stripe pouch. Because th that's the print that's on this. It's funny how these are both kind of engineer themed. Because this is the engineer pouch. Um, this holds so much. I think this is like... I do get the hype why Delphonics pouches are like well loved in the community i'm actually really late to this wave because i purchased this this year and i've seen people use the phonics pouches for a very long time but i'm really happy that i finally have one this actually doesn't travel with me as much and i think it's because i like the way it's set up is very um usable as a desk pouch right now if that makes sense it's like a glorified <laughs> pen holder but the thing is if i were to travel with this i would kind of keep it the same but i would probably take out all of these pens and things that easily fall out of um these pockets because these don't have any closures or any like velcro except for this one pouch at the back here so i did travel or like i did put this in my bag once just like this and it was disastrous because i guess things shifted in my bag and all of these things fell out so it was all at the bottom of my bag so i think if i were to pack this for an adventure outside um I, which i've done before i've taken all of these out and kind of had to migrate them in here so it kind of um it kind of reduces the amount of th stuff that you can carry unless you're like maybe you're a little bit smarter than me and are carrying less like fallable items <laughs> if that makes sense like you're putting stuff that actually is secure in here like maybe this this uh p passport size traveler's notebook this one doesn't really fall out but for me i've just had more trouble keeping like a lot of stuff in these pockets when i'm traveling with this pouch um but i you know what maybe that's just a job problem <laughs> uh, but yeah i i still really recommend this pouch because it can carry so much and I mean, maybe if you're, you know, cafe journaling or traveling, you can put things that are a little bit more secure in these pockets, unlike what I'm doing right now. But I'll show you the current setup because this is actually how it lives in my desk. It perpetually lives like this and is kind of like a a hub for my my pens and all the supplies that I need. I The one thing that I don't keep in here are my scissors, which are actually on my pegboard right over there. Um, but we'll start with the exterior. I have an Ollie clip here. This is my first Ollie clip that I purchased this year. There's a lot of firsts this year actually for me in stationery. Uh, but it's just a magnetic clip. These are my current favorite brush pens. These are the brush sign pens from... I always forget the brand. These are Pentel. And then these were these are my ride or die. This is the Tombow Fudinosuke um, brush pen in the hard uh, tip. I think these two are... Those two... Brush pens are my fave. I will kind of continue growing this selection of um, pens. I definitely collect these pens. Every time I go to Nikaido, I buy one color that I don't have um, instead of buying. I mean, I, at this point, I, I could have bought the set, but it feels more fun collecting them slowly. And then I have my adhesives over here in the next pouch. There's just a little film um, enamel pin. This one actually... Um, is the glue which i rave about this is my favorite glue stick this is the yellow um glue so this one is kind of wrinkle resistant so this the formulation is a little bit drier and you can see right here compared to 
the regular formulation that's gray um, at the bottom. Um, I like this, but this also fades any um, ink that is on therm or thermal printed ink. So if you're like gluing a receipt, you can't really use this because it'll fade anything on the receipt. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind. And then this is um the tombow permanent adhesive um, tape runner not my favorite this was my favorite but i tried the glue tape runner and that one's so much better highly recommend that you can get it on amazon japan um and then i have these are kind of like daily driver pens i feel like i always need to have a ballpoint just in case this is my preferred ballpoint pen this is the uni jet stream in the 0 0.38 they have a 0 0.28 but i feel like that's too needly for me this is uh the pilot multi-ball this pen is amazing this writes on any surface highly recommend it you can even write on plastic acetate super cool i write this i use this when i write on top of pet tapes a lot and it just is a champ this is the hanks um, diary x hours fountain pen love it I talk about this pen too much, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, Sarasa Grand in the antique brown color, I think. And then my priciest pen, this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini in the from the Morocco series. This is the Night, Night Sky Blue, I believe. And then I have another spoon here. These two have been kindly sent over by um, different friends in the community. This one's from Jesse. This one's from Essie. Oh, it rhymes um, because I never got a spoon with my order in <laughs> from Hobonichi because I didn't order like a dated book. This is uh, a Traveler's Company clear folder um, from a few years back. And I just keep all of my tiny little scraps that I can use for journaling in here. So. I collect a lot of scrap paper and I hoard fun papers that I like and I just keep the smaller ones in here. The the larger version of that is over here. <laughs> I feel like my journaling contains a lot of um, scrap paper so I just keep multiple folders with scrap papers and like papers that are have been sent from friends. Um, because I am a paper hoarder, this is a clear folder from the current Hobonichi lineup this is the Sol lighter clear folder i love it so much there's also a cover in this uh, with this image and i just keep a whole bunch of larger larger scrap papers that don't fit in this one so this one is more of the passport size and then this one is an a5 clear folder and a5 stuff fits in here oh i should probably put this vellum in here and then before we move to the interior we have one last item. This is my Passport Traveler's Notebook. I moved into my black one um, because I was using the beautiful, uh, I guess, Star Fairy Camel 5th Edition version. But this still has the same contents. It has my mini moments um, insert, my uh, B-sides and rarities um, waxed folder, and then the super lightweight insert from B-sides and rarities as well. Um, so, yeah, this is nice. I just like to keep this in here. And then we have the back side. There's these two pockets here. I sometimes put um, this folder here and I'll put my mini five. Sorry, let me grab it. My mini five over here. It really depends um, if this is inside my pouch, but sometimes it lives in here. So it's like double, double notebooks over here. But right now it's not. Um, so this usually lives over here. Uh, so I just have my most used clips here. This is the Traveler's Company one. The weird thing is I never purchased the second design of the other one. I probably will at some point. I feel like it's just I've crossed that threshold where I've, I haven't had it for so long. So this is just kind of like my only one, which is fine. But I do like to collect clips. This is my Penko kind of beigey brown clip that I really like too. It's like an enamel, enamel coated um, metal clip. And then this last pocket with the Velcro, I actually keep my Hobonichi Weeks in here because I feel like this is a nice setup to bring um, to like an alternate space in the in my home. Um, so like maybe in the living room, I can just bring everything here and I can work on my Weeks. Um, I really like it. it, keeps me on top of everything. And yeah, it's just so much more mobile. So even with a larger cover, um, this is the cover on cover that I got for 2022, but even when I had the lacao cover, it still fit in this little um, Velcro pouch here. And you can still use the Velcro to close it, which I really like. And then 
we've already talked about this folder this sh really should be in the folder i haven't really done anything with it yet uh, but these are printables from abc's patreon that i converted into sticker sheets using silhouette studio and i just add cut lines i love fuzzy cutting but if i can avoid it i will so i just turn these into sticker sheets for myself which is really handy and i like keeping them in here just to keep it organized i would keep this with the rest of my other sticker collection booklets but i formatted this to a5 size and i don't have any sticker books that are that size so it's better to keep in here with other a5 size items um i can probably put it in another folder like this i just haven't done that yet which is a note for future job and then we have this is actually the last two items in here this is my fountain pen insert for my uh what is this called um galen leather kind of zip folio i usually have all my twisby pens here but i have been toying with carrying more pens in different circulations does that make sense so like i'll change out the pens in my um like everyday pencil case more often so i can bring different fountain pens to work i'm trying to be like less um precious with them just because i am acquiring more and i want to get more use out of all of them i also am that monster that inks all my pens i don't have a huge pen collection but i feel like i have like 20 pens inked up right now so don't do what i do you could probably just need to have like five inked up but i just love the color variation uh but yeah i just have my two um lamies in the safari orange or i forget the colorway i think it's savannah orange or savannah red even though it looks like orange and then this is the mango from last year twizzy swipe in here usually keep all my twisbies here but again i'm trying to carry things around more and then this is my i don't know i maybe should stop doing this with this pen roll but right now it's perpetually in this kind of standing position in my delphonics i know it's like a waste of uh, such a beautiful case maybe i just need to invest in more of these but i don't know it's just so much handier because as much as i love this pencil pouch this pen pouch it's not really an um uh, one of those everyday items that i like bringing around and kind of converting into a pen roll or like one of these folios because it's it's such a hassle to open and close like i don't know it really doesn't take that long but in my head i'm like oh such a hassle to open and look for a pen um but it's so aesthetic i don't even know right now it just lives in there but maybe next year i think maybe if i convert this into my actual pencil case and keep like small things in my pencil pouch like my glue and adhesive in just my engineer pouch over here it'll be more usable i just don't like how you know there's i love this but maybe if there was like a little zipper or a button closure here i would use it a little bit more so i can keep i don't know like erasers like keeping erasers in here and smaller items that don't have a clip on it is kind of a little bit more of a pain because there is still a possibility of it falling out especially if it's in here on this edge like it'll close like this and it can still fall out unless you're really rolling it but i have a hard time actually rolling this well that's a lie i just rolled it perfectly right now but rolling it is not my first instinct my first instinct is just folding it in half and then using it like that um but this is more of a again a job problem not a, a general problem with this i keep quite a bit of my cavecos in the shorter end here or like this wider end here Ooh, oops it's i have a hard time sometimes getting the clip to clasp especially for these ones so i just put them in here like that um but i have my traveler's notebook brass pen two other um cavecos cavecos um depends on how you want to pronounce it um the olive green that came out this year that's limited and then this is a new per newish purchase purchase i just love orange and green and then i this is a really old um demonstrator um Koeko sport and then kakuno the lamy safari um savannah green i think that's the savannah green i have the kaveco this is the twisby eco in the yellow pilot prera love that and then two other um lamy safaris this is the the demonstrator one and then the white one and yeah it's it's nice i actually i'm gonna put it back in its <laughs> standing position where i put the 
clasp at the back, fold it down, and then I put it back in here vertically. Again, this is like a weird way <laughs> of using this. It's just kind of, a, again, a glorified <laughs> pen holder or like, yeah, a pen stand, but I don't know, it works for me. And in reality, if I did want to take just my fountain pens and this, I can just take this out and run, but I have yet to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's in my Delphonics. Again, this is a Mary Poppins pouch. This is huge. It just fits so much more. And I can fit more over here. There's two more pockets here. But I feel like if I did that, it wouldn't close. And I, there's really no need. Again, I can put probably like a nice blunt pair of scissors here so it doesn't pierce through the fabric. But that's the one thing that's missing here. Some scissors. And then lastly, I won't go over this pouch too much. This is actually just um, my everyday pencil case. So... This is where, um, well, I was talking about this earlier. I try to circulate the pens that I have in there. I'm a little bit less um, precious with these pens now, except for my <laughs> my other um, Sailor Pro Gears to the Mini. Um, but everything else, I'm kind of like fair game. I know some people don't like when pens are touching, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, this is a new to me um, dot liner from Kokuyo. This is really good. This is the gray version, the original glue. This is the smaller one, which is really nice. I like keeping this in my pencil case because it's tiny. Posca paint pen, again, Pilot Multiball all around her pen. This is the Carapo pen, also dubbed as the tampon pen because there's this like white kind of foam piece that you soak in your preferred fountain pen ink and this becomes kind of like a new way to use your fountain pen inks it's really nice actually uh, <laughs> but it still just makes me laugh the ballpoint version of the hank's diary pen a uh, sharpie pen and a tombow fudinoski um, brush pen this is again the hard tip and then another ballpoint pen this is from delphonics one of my all-time favorite ballpoint pens this is a Mitsubishi like double-sided pencil with the Prussian blue and vermilion. I feel like that's a classic for a lot of people. A USB. Um, oh, I used to use this a lot. Um, I don't use it as much anymore, but you can look how tiny it is. This is the um, brass pencil from Traveler's Company. I really like this, actually. I use it quite a bit. The Uniball one in orange. Really like the Uniball one. I would probably get into it a little bit more if I wasn't using fountain pens a lot more. Another USB. I've had this since like undergrad, I think. Um, uh, my pencil sharpener, a brass one if I need to sharpen this or the brass pencil. Um, these are just some random scissors. I actually like these more than the kind of spring loaded ones just because I have a hard time um, using those and controlling um, like the the spring loaded kind of travel scissors. This is small enough to go in here that's blunt enough as well. I don't know where these are from, but apparently they're stainless steel. I've had this for a while and I still like using this more as like a travel pair of scissors than again, those kind of spring loaded scissors. This is the plus um, cream tape. This is amazing. This is good if you use a Midori or any other cream paper. I am using the Sumki notebook that has very like intense cream paper. So I can't really use whiteout. So I use this quite a bit. I probably should have regular white out in here, but I don't. Um, and then I just have, <laughs> this is so sad. This is my eraser. <laughs> I don't even know what brand this is from. Um, I could probably get another more aesthetic eraser, but this works for me. Um, and yeah, I'll use this until it's finished. But yeah, this is what's in my regular pencil pouch. Um, this is really functional. This doesn't have really a lot of art supplies, but it just has a lot of things that are kind of necessary, I feel like, for my regular journaling and planning i used to have my mod liners in here um at least three mod liners but i just have migrated those to keep at my work desk just because i do more of my bullet journaling or like highlighting at work and it felt weird kind of carrying the same colors because i always use the gray the yellow and the brown I use the yellow, the gray, and the brown a lot. And I have multiples of these, one at home and one at school. And I thought about getting another pair for um, this pencil case, but I haven't had the the need for it. But I think maybe having a, a highlighter would be the last thing that I add on to this um, pouch. But 
yeah, I think that's it. I hope that was a little bit insightful. It was a very chatty video, but I am very passionate about pouches and like organizing stationery. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what um, pouch you use and what other organizational systems you use because I would genuinely like to know. I feel like this can be a little bit more pared down. Again, I only carry all of these three if I'm going for like an intense journaling session with like friends at a cafe and i'll probably bring more too but on the day to day i just keep the delphonics at home i'll bring this to work and i'll bring this to work or when i'm going out in my day-to-day -day life i feel like it's not too bad um but this might be excessive for some but again this is also a tech pouch and like everything that i need um with me so I guess it's not too bad, but yeah, I gen genuinely like to know what pouch you use and um, what organizational systems you use for your pouches. I will see you again next time for another video. Be sure to check out um, Twitch for more um, live content and journaling content. There's also um, saved video on demands there or VODs there so you can watch past broadcasts there if you want to catch more uh, journaling goodness. Okay, I think that's it folks. I love you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.